what time it is. <laughs> Got to be five o'clock. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. It's Saturday. Another week has passed. Another week is gone. And it's time to do some cooking. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us last week. Thanks for, for sharing so much love for mom. Mom says thank you. Um, mom, not a big talker. She tells me to do the talking. I think that was dad in the family. He was the big talker. But boy, hey, she's a lovable person. I love you to death. Love you, mom. I'm missing you today. Mm -hmm. I don't have anybody to carry me. Ty, you got to carry me today. I got you, babe. <laughs> All right, we're going to get started. Um, what we're going to do today, we're doing something for my sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Produced the show every week. <laughs> she makes it happen. Um, I said, baby, what do you like? And she likes pasta. That's one of, probably one of the first dishes I cooked for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, um, um, one of our favorite cities in the whole wide world is New Orleans. And um, so, jambalaya pasta. So, we're going to do an Alfredo sauce. We're going to throw some different stuff in there. We're going to throw blackened chicken, um, some blackened shrimp, some sausage, and of course, the Alfredo sauce. And uh, so, the water is boiling for the pasta, and uh, uh, we're already putting the recipe together. So, um, some of the things, some of the steps we had to skip for time's sake. So we will put the recipe up within an hour afterwards with the pictures of some of the things I did prior to and then the whole recipe as well. So uh, thank you for hanging out with us. Cooking with Kip, of course, the Chef Kip rub we still have. Um, and i uh, got some other stuff that's coming too. And um, so check us out on Instagram, Facebook. Like and share, please. And, and YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get started. I got some water going. Uh, I'm using a fresh pasta today. I wish I could have made pasta, but I didn't have time for that. So I bought one. It's one that I use. I'm going to give me some free advertising. Boy, Tini, I think it's Tony. Uh, but it, that, this pasta is usually found in the produce, not the produce, the uh, dairy section, uh, or the cheese. But you can find a fresh pasta, not a dry pasta. Dry pasta is great. I use it a lot. But... Uh, uh, the fresh pasta cooks quicker, so it'll take me about two minutes to cook that pasta. Uh, so we'll get to that later, but i just just sharing the different pasta that I'm using. But I'll start with the Alfredo sauce. I got quite a few ingredients over here. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to make, I need to get some heat on that, is uh, I'm going to make like a blonde roux. And a roux is a thickener, and as well as it gives flavor. It's a combination of fat, which could be butter, uh, oil, and flour. When those two come together, they make a thickener to thicken up soup, stews, sauces, those type of things. So I'm going to start with that first, and then I'm going to start adding the dairy products to get the Alfredo sauce going. So I know we got a lot of cooks out there that's probably done the same thing before, but what I'm, I'm going to do a little different. I'm, uh, I'm going to chop up a couple of onions, and just my way of doing it, you don't have to do it this way, but I'm going to start off with some onions and garlic first. As soon as that skillet gets hot. And uh, not a lot, because we, yeah, I got onions going everywhere. We got uh, just making a pasta for about three people today, so not a lot. Got some garlic, and because it's an Alfredo sauce, I'm going to go a little heavier on the garlic. I'm using a, probably about a quarter of an onion and small, five small cloves of garlic. Now, they can use. White onion or yellow onion, yes. correct? Yes, that's okay. correct. And I'll be honest, you know why I'm using red onion today? Because that's what we have. Because I've used up all the white onion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the real truth is, I love red onion. I just like the flavor and taste of the red onion. So I always have it because I use it in salads and all types of stuff. I either make, even make onion rings out of red onion from time to time. Hello, Dolores Van. Hey, Mom and Gwen. All right. Hey, Mama Lola. Mama Lola's watching today. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to get these, this garlic chopped up right quick. I still see a garlic skin in there. And you can either, you can use a garlic press as well. I have one of those. But uh, I just like using my knife, to be honest with you. But you can use, put the garlic in a little press and make it finer. Um... Uh, so I chopped up my garlic, I got my onions going. Now I'm gonna get, where did my oil go? I just had it. Oh, behind you, sweetheart. <laughs> Hide and see. Okay, got a hot skillet going. 
And I'm going to saute some onions and garlic. I'm going to put the onions in first. Because garlic you got to be a little careful with. If you put it in too quick or too hot of a skillet, you can easily uh, burn it. And once you do that, it gives off a bitter flavor. So I've got those going. And then after I get the garlic in in just a moment, I'm going to put equal parts of uh, butter. Today I'm using butter. Butter and, and flour and create a quick roux. I won't cook it long just to get a little thickener. Then I'll start adding some other ingredients. In there. I got my onions going. Hello, Nancy Wood from Texas. Thanks for watching. Hello, Nancy. The onions are going. I got my little tool over here. Hi, Tamiko Delvin, Delvin Sparrow. Hello, Lori Bryant. All right. So I got my, my garlic and my onions going. So we're doing an Alfredo sauce today. I'm going to saute those around just for a short moment. And then I am going to get the roux started. Wipe off this stove. Kevin Jack says he loves your shirt, cousin. Thank you, brother. How you doing up there? In the in the in the in the great state of Pennsylvania. Hey JJ, thank you for watching. Hello Nancy Condon from South Carolina. All thank right. you for watching. So I got that going now. I'm gonna start with start getting my roux going. So I got some butter here. That's about about a quarter cup and some flour. So a little roux. And the roux is the base of the Alfredo sauce. Is there a, a if you don't want to make a roux, is there, is, there's many you know different recipes? I have done it without it, where I just use heavy whipping cream, which I'm using some today. And uh, if I couldn't slow enough and add enough Parmesan cheese to it, mm -hmm. it would thicken up as well. Um, so two things I'm going to do. The roux is going to create some flavor for me, um, as well as it's going to thicken it up quicker as mm -hmm. well. So I got the roux going, and I'm gonna cook it just for two or three minutes to kind of cook that flour taste out of it. Of course, we're gonna have some time um, within 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna have an Alfredo sauce going. Um, so what I've done, just to show you, I've got some of the proteins already cooked. Some blackened chicken. I did the same thing with some shrimp. Blackened those. We got some sausage. Green peppers, which I'm getting ready to put in here. <laughs> Lori Bryant says... Um, and some tomatoes. I'm sorry, go ahead. She always wanted to cook jambalaya. This is not the traditional jambalaya. But it's a pasta, but I uh, actually I had to do some jambalaya today for someone. Mm -hmm. The traditional one. So that was, gay, that was part of this inspiration as well. So I got the roux going. And it's starting to brown up a little bit on me, so I'm going to go ahead and put some milk in. Actually, I didn't pour my milk. Ooh, that's all right. I'll just use the wet milking cream. I forgot to tell you, I did have some, I have some, some broth. Ooh, that's hot. I have some broth here. You can use broth, different kinds of broth. You can use water. But I'm going to put some, add some milk in here as well. But I made some fish broth earlier today for another recipe. So it's going to give it another little depth of flavor using that, that broth that I use. So um, with broth, you can, of course you can buy it in the store. And I, you know, and I have no problem with that. But sometimes when you got certain things lying around or you, you're going to cook something, you got different parts, whether it be fish parts, fish bones, chicken bones. You can use that stuff to cook it down. And I won't get into just doing broths today because that's not what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, but that saves you some money as well. Mm -hmm. So I just use, I put some heavy whipping cream in. Now I'm going to have to have to add some, some milk to it or some heavy, some, uh, some more heavy whipping cream. Hello, Sharon Jackson. First time watching from New Orleans. Thank you for watching. Here's a bowl. I need that milk. Okay, we starting to thicken up real quick here. Need some more. Mm. 
Yep. So as you can see, it's it's starting to come together real quick. Milk. That's some milk for me. Okay. So right now I got the roux and I'm I'm starting to thicken things up. In a minute, we're gonna turn a curve where I'll add cheese and some more cream. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more milk. My sweetheart Lola's grabbing some for me right now. So we're coming together. The reason why I'm calling it jambalaya is because if you notice, there's some colors going on in there. I got peppers, I got onions, and we're gonna add some tomatoes to this as well. Hello, Norma from Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Murder Robinson. So all together, I'm probably adding probably about a cup and a half of liquid between the broth, the milk, and I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream to this as well. So as you can see, that came together fairly quick. Within 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, it's already thick enough. Uh, I got garlic flavors in there. I got uh, my onions in there. And I'm going to put some dry garlic here in there in just a moment as well. Hey, Aunt May. <laughs> Add a little bit more heavy whipping cream. And with, with sauces, you know, you have measurements. And like I said, I'm going to add the recipe to the site. But look at the consistency of things. Because to be honest with you, depending on where you live, uh, humidity and temperatures, and especially humidity, it plays a big role on cooking when it comes to baking as well as different sauces so that determines a lot of stuff so sometimes you got to use judgment to get a consistency so right now you can see it's kind of has a velvety uh, feel to it or a, a texture to it so a look of it so it's starting to come together so I'm gonna, what I am going to do I'm going to add just a little bit of salt your right brother now. Jason Moore says can he hold a dollar Jason you'll know you can always hold a dollar because when, when it comes back you're going to give me two I know you're good for two if I give you one <laughs> All right, I got a little salt in there. Hope everything's going good in Kansas today, brother. All right. So that's coming together. So I'm going to start adding some cheese. That's some grated Parmesan cheese. I got about three-fourths of a cup. And if I need to add some more, I can. Oh, yeah. It's coming together, sweetheart. It looks delicious. But I'm going to thin it out a little bit more. Is that all right? Yeah. Cause we gotta cook down some. Love you too, Jason. All right, thinning it down with milk and, and it's not cooking unless you put a little wine in it, right? <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of wine was uh, it? Sauvignon Blanc. Probably one of my favorites. Um, not too sweet, well, not really sweet at all, uh, but just a crisp. You the apple type flavors, buttery. Okay, starting to come together. Starting to look like an Alfredo sauce, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got some, still got some cooking to do, but I need to do some tasting to see where I am. It's getting there. Getting there real quick too. Okay, so we got that. I'm gonna add more cheese. And I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of dry garlic. Where did I put it? I had it over there. So I put fresh garlic in there into my sauce. And I'm going to put a little bit of granulated garlic, about two tablespoons, because I, I like garlic. The recipe will be posted shortly after the live. Okay. Tablespoons. Cooking is tasty. If you ain't tasty, and if you ask my mother, who was, who taught me a whole lot about cooking, she always said, "Son, you got to taste your food, because um, that's going to help you get where you need to be." You know, if it's, uh, it's not quite that taste yet, or where you want it to be, you keep playing with it, adding till you get it where you want it. I'm gonna put a little bit more heavy whipped cream. I tell you what, Alfredo sauce is good to you, but boy, it's not good for you. No, it's not. It's a lot of butter, a lot of cream, a lot of cheese. 
Rolando Ball is watching. Hey man, I hope you're doing well, brother. Jason Moore said, dang, look at Kip's shirt. <laughs> His shirt is the star today, baby. All right. Okay, the sauce is coming together. All right, I'm liking what I got right now. Hold one tight, sweetheart. Grab a couple of things. I'll go over here and look at the protein. So if you're just joining us, we're doing blackened Alfredo pasta. He started his Alfredo from scratch with a roux. And we will be adding our blackened protein in shortly with some pasta. All right. So actually, one other thing that I am going to add to this pasta. <laughs> hey, is, Iris. It's a little bit of a dry oregano. I got about, about a teaspoon of dry oregano I'm adding to it. All right, so it's coming together right nicely. My water's boiling, so I'm getting ready to put the pasta in. Sauce is looking good. We're gonna add a few tomatoes in early, and then we're gonna use some for garnishing. Okay, we're doing all right there. Um, so we're gonna start to put some proteins in. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. Nancy says this dish would be awesome on a cold winter night. What did though? <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you about my chicken. I've used um, there you go right here. These are actually chicken thighs. Why thighs? <laughs> the reason being is I love the flavor of chicken thighs. Um, it just gives off. Uh, that's my, one of my personal preferences. Um, so I actually I blacken them to add the flavor to the pasta, and um, they just cook up well. And they're very juicy. Texture, the flavor, it works for me. So I, I enjoy those. So we're going to add some sausage to it. So if you're in New Orleans, sausage goes in a lot of things. So there you go for the jambalaya pasta. <laughs> sausage is starting to really look good. Mm -hmm. You can use chicken breast if that's your choice. And we got some shrimp. Fresh Georgia shrimp, that is. All right. Mom, these are the shrimp that you gave me, by the way. <laughs> mom not only cooks for me, but she's giving me stuff too. That's a good mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we coming together. Everything was blackened. So to add a little bit more flavor to it, we're going to add a little bit of blackening seasoning to our sauce. Nancy, he just answered your question. He did make his own blackened seasoning. It's in the jar. I'm going to put about a tablespoon here. And that's it right here. That's one of the spices that we got coming. It's going to be on the website real soon. Um, I can give you an idea of what's in it. A lot of paprika, garlic, there's oregano, there's thyme, uh, there's some smoked paprika, um, basil, um, sea salt. All those things are there. All right. This sauce is really starting to come together. I like what, what we see. All right. So I got the shrimp in, I got the sausage in, I got the chicken in, and now we're gonna cook the pasta. Again, we're cooking pasta. Uh, when, you, when you salt water for the pasta, you want it to have, you know when you go to the beach and you go out to the ocean, that, that smell that you smell? That's what that water wants to smell like. If it, if it doesn't smell like that, you don't have enough water in your salt. Yes, salt in your water. I mean, that's right. Straighten me up. You have no salt in your water. So I got the pasta here. It's going to take about two minutes to cook it. It's a fresh fettuccine, so it's not going to take long at all. And what's the what's the rule about putting oil in your pasta? I know you are against it, so I wanted you to speak I'm, I'm on it. That. Um, <laughs> Somehow it came about well, some theory that if you put oil in your pasta, it won't stick together. Well, the real truth of it is, if you, anybody's been around, definitely a commercial kitchen, restaurant kitchens, um, the key to the pasta not sticking is having enough water in the pot. And stir it when it goes into the pot, and then it's not going to stick together. Um, because you want, the other thing about, I have a guess, putting uh, oil in the pasta, you want the sauce to stick to your noodles or your pasta or whatever kind of pasta. That's part of that flavor. And if you have the oil in the in the pasta, the sauce is going to just slide away. So you want that to, 
to connect with the pasta and become one because that's part of that good flavor. Hi, is it Lashea Collins? All right. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching. She's the newbie. Okay. All right. So the sauces came together. Um, we got Parmesan cheese in. We have the... Um, Sauce looks delicious. Looks good? Yes. All right. Ah, I had a little bit of wine left over in my glass, so <laughs> I was getting hot. All right. So that's coming together real good. Okay, I'm keep, I kept the heat on about medium high. So let me get another spoon and taste the sauce. Let's see how we're doing. Wow. Tide's gonna come around. And, oh, I just double dipped. I'm yeah, sorry, baby. Yeah, you did. It's not going out of the house, though. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been good. You it went was, for second. Well, I flipped up. Nancy says you needs to be on Food Network. New here, Thanks love Alfredo Nancy. sauce. What do you think, sweetheart? It's absolutely delicious. Okay. You're just not telling me that, are you? No. Okay. Jason Moore says, uh, Ty, that sauce looks good. Enough for us to drive down. Come on, brother. Uh, <laughs> Jason, it will be worth the drive from Kansas to Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> All right. Let's see if the pasta's ready. See, that's ready. In two minutes... Pasta's ready to go. So what I usually do with my pasta. It's al dente. Um, I go straight from the pot to, to the, the sauce. sauce. Yes, sir. <laughs> and that little pasta water, it helps with making things even better. If I can get it in the, in the skillet. Ronnie Carter is watching. Hey, cousin. We'll put, we'll post the recipe shortly. All the way in Knoxville, huh? Hey, cousin Sarah. All right. Got it in. Got the pasta in the water. And if your sauce, for some reason, is not thick enough, when you're putting it together... Your tongue. Um, where did my tongue go? If it's not thick enough for you, you can use that pasta water. Okay, we back. Sorry, technical <laughs> difficulty. <laughs> we can use the pasta water as a thickener. But my sauce, actually, I think we got enough thickness going on today. Yeah. So, actually, I'm going to thin it out just a little bit. Hey, Seth, Susan Sampson from Illinois. Thank you for watching. I'm going to thin it out just a little bit. And you use the pasta water again? Yes. So, you can use it for so many different things. As a thickener as it cook, or if it's a little bit too thick, you can thin it down. So... I just did that. So there we go. We have a jambalaya pasta. I'm going to move this pot out of the way so we are. Okay. okay. Yes. Right down the stove. Grab one. Grab one. It's right there. Okay. So the pasta is coming together. Looks pretty good. It's saucy. Has a thickness about it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's my. I'm gonna get ready to plate this up. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple of things I've done. Um, I, I'm gonna use a couple of garnishes. Let me throw that cheese out of here in that bag. Should just hold on for a second. Get ready to plate this up. I'm turning this off. Slide it over a little bit. See if we can make this look good. Mm. It looks creamy. Hi, Rev Helen from New Jersey. Thank you for watching. Hi, Sandy Everett from Alabama. Thank you for watching. Well, this is a meal for to feed a few people now. What's your record? I think so. I got to clean up this plate. Leisha said, when you add flavors, you get flavors. As in the shrimp, she's from Louisiana. Yes, indeed. Have mercy <laughs> on you. Okay, I added a little bit more sauce. Let me clean this plate up a little bit. Hold on one moment. Got to get a, gotta get a good presentation. Hey, Cousin Charles. So I grabbed a little bit of shaved Parmesan cheese. And for my garnishes... There's a couple of things that I'm going to add. I'm going to add some, some of that sausage that I cooked earlier. Put a few on there. I had a few shrimp that I left the tail on that my mom gave me. 
Thanks, Mom, for the shrimp. Uh-oh, am I getting too dark over here? No, you're fine, sweetie. Okay. And a few tomatoes. All right, we're getting there, aren't we? Hello, Elaine from Emerald Isle, North Carolina. Thank you for watching. Hi, Kathy from Florida. Don't forget to like and share. Cooking with Kip, please, and thank you. All right, and then I'm just going to chop up just a little bit of basil. Sprinkle it on. Finish it off with a little bit more pasta. I mean, uh, Parmesan cheese. Okay, so sweetheart, I'm going to let you taste this today. And, and I'm going to see what you think. Give you a... Hello, that's Ty. That's the lady that's always behind the camera. My sweetheart. So it's on you now. Tell me what you think. You got to be honest with me. Do I get put out? So again, we cooked a, uh, a jambalaya. Well, I'll hush for a minute. Go ahead. What do you think? Pretty good? That's delicious. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh. Um, that was the pasta, and we're going to share this recipe with you. It didn't take long, probably took about 25 minutes to get everything done, and it doesn't take long, and then you have a great dinner. Uh, it's a good date dinner, good for a night of fun, um, and you know what? That's what it's all about. These are the things that put smiles on our face. You know, you got to enjoy what you do. You got to enjoy cooking. You got to enjoy people. You got to enjoy family. You know, get out and make a difference. Tell somebody you love them, because I have a reason. To put a smile on my face. <laughs> y'all take care. Cooking Thank with Kip. Thank y'all for watching. See you next week. Bye bye. Let me taste this pasta. You're not recording, are you?